Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. <clears throat> this is an I Felt Like It re read, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot or the runes. You are the creator of your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. Yeah, the runes, you guys. <clears throat> So I'm going to go ahead and do a runes reading. Me and Brian, my dog, have already had our spiritual cleansing with the ocean here in uh, Padre Island, Corpus Christi, Texas. And um, yeah, we're going to see what kind of energy we get from that, okay? <clears throat> All right, so I am going to pull. Cool. And, you know, sorry about not breaking out the boggles at the last uh, uh, rune reading. I forgot. Okay. Uh, anyhow, let's go ahead and pull five runes here and find out what we got going on for the collective. For whoever's catching this video, you know, remember, you guys, it may or may not resonate. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't manifest weird stuff into your life. Okay. If I can find... I'm just feeling a totems right now. Okay, here's the second rune. Third rune. Fourth rune. And the final rune. Fifth rune. I'm also going to pull two uh, totem, animal totem stones to find out the energy of, uh, you know, you and your person. Two people, right? doesn't even have to be you. It could just be two people in your life. Here's the first one. And here is the second one. And I'm going to pull another uh, to animal totem just for the energy of the entire reading, right? Okay. I gotta put these so I don't forget the boggles. <laughs> put these over here. All right. Because I think that's why I forgot last time, because I kind of put them on the side of me and I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Um, this is a uh, Crown Royale bag that I'm using. I'm not an alcoholic. I don't drink, you know. I, I don't drink at all, I, you know. And, and people who drink, not everybody's an alcoholic. I just want to say I, do, I don't drink. Uh, somebody gave that, this bag to me, so that's why I have it. <clears throat> I don't even really know what this drink tastes like. So. Uh, anyhow, um, let's go ahead and get started here. <clears throat> so, uh, let's find out what that first rune is, okay? And that's pretty much the overview of this entire reading, right? Yeah. And, uh, so let's see, let's see what's going on. Okay. I, you know, yeah. All right, so it looks like an R, right? It's in the reverse. This is the rune uh, that signifies a journey, all right? It's in the reverse, though, okay? So someone wants to take a journey, but they're unable to right now, okay? That is the overview. Because it made an appearance here, I'm taking it that somebody would like to actually take some sort of journey or go on a journey. This could be a spiritual journey, a journey uh, to find yourself, you know, maybe going in, into solitude or something like that, right? But somebody may even be planning on taking a journey, but they're just not ready yet, right? Somebody may be preparing for a journey, and this is why it's not taking place so far, all right? <clears throat> Second rune is the challenge, all right? The challenge. Wow. This is the breakthrough stone, okay? So the challenge here is trying to have this breakthrough, you know, in whatever it is you're trying to do so you can go on that journey. There could be somebody healing from something. Um, 
but because they're unable to move forward right now because they are maybe going within or or doing something trying to figure out their own traumas or what's holding them back whatever there will be a breakthrough it's a challenge but because this is here it's going to happen okay eventually if this person is diligent in their own healing or whatever it is they're trying to get through so they can take this journey right mm -hmm. all right so the action that's going to be taken all right this is defense right so somebody may be defending themselves now all right, after they have this breakthrough and, you know, they've done some of this healing, because we're not 100% healed, you know, uh, in our lifetime, there's still going to be a little bit of stuff going on, you know. Um, but, you know, life is about the lifelong journey of healing, right? Healing from past traumas, addictions, codependencies, whatever it is, you know. So, yeah, the action taken here, uh, somebody will be defending themselves um, in whatever this is, right? So somebody could also be, I'm getting, they're not really that strong enough to move forward because maybe they feel they're not ready or, you know, the plans that they have in mind have not taken effect yet, something like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe building up that courage, to do whatever they need to do to move forward, right? So what is the sacrifice here? <clears throat> All right. So this is protection. Somebody feels that the possibility, the reason why they're defensive and can't take this action is maybe they don't feel they're protected, right? So they're staying where they're at because it's safe right now, right? But if you are doing the healing, and you are, you know, being virtuous, being good to people, um, raising the vibrations around you, you know, by, by putting out positive energy or doing things to help people heal themselves or realize something about themselves in a positive manner, then, um, you know, you will be protected. But if you're doing kind of stuff that's negative or you make people feel bad or feel down or whatever, then, you know... Spirit won't protect those people. Spirit only protects the ones who want to help raise the vibrations of the earth, heal others, uh, bring happiness to other people's lives, motivate people, stuff like that, right? Maybe you got to do a little bit more of that, you know? Bring out that positivity in others, motivate others to do better. And guaranteed this will, this will turn into the upright. Okay. So let's go ahead and find out. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and find out here uh, what the stones uh, are about. <clears throat> First stone here. I know what that one is. That is the owl. I just recognize the stone. Yeah. You see that? This is, you know, the owl. The owl is about um, protection, psychic vision. So somebody here is protected, right? Um, it could be this person and they don't realize it, or maybe it's not, or maybe it's another person you're dealing with, but somebody here is super protected. You know, why? Why are they protected? Why does that person get all this protection, right? Well, they have insight, they got psychic vision, and I guarantee you, those gifts weren't just, you know, handed to this person willy-nilly. No. This person probably had to go through a lot of healing, um, introspection, going within, that hermit energy, going within alone, realizing things by themselves. Because when you got a lot of people chattering outside you while you're trying to heal, there's no healing that's going to go on. you got to do that alone. That's, that's, a, that's a, a journey that must be traveled alone if you want to make it to this status. Right? Yeah. Insight and psychic vision. Somebody here is very intuitive. 
right? And it took those long hours and days and months, however long it took for this person to gain this because they had to realize something within themselves. They had to possibly even realize that they were around a lot of toxic people that were bringing them down, that, you know, it just wasn't helping them get anywhere. So this person may uh, be kind of like a loner. This person... Um, knows their worth for sure, right? Because spirit doesn't just gift those things to anyone. You have to earn it, just like loyalty. Showing your loyalty to spirit, to mankind, to humanity. And that's when the gifts start rolling in, right? That's what I think, I don't know. That's what's coming to my head, so <laughs> let's just go with that, right? This one here, I know this one too. Well, I can kind of see through it, but I already know. This is the, uh, the Road Runner, right? The Road Runner. This is about mental speed and agility. Someone here is re really smart, right? They're really super smart. They're quick on the draw. They can give you quick answers. Why? Because they know. They don't have to think about it too much because they already got that answer. They know it. They may not show it, but we have a very intelligent individual here, right? This person has the tools to get what this person has. But they might just not believe in themselves 100% right now, right? Look at how, look at how, um, <laughs> look at how the road runner is looking over at the owl who's just chilling there. This, this owl may be a person that this person strives to be. And you can be that. You can. You know? Especially when you get this stone, mental speed and agility, you got it in you. Okay? You know the answers. You just maybe, you know, have to believe in yourself a little bit. For whoever this is. Right? Maybe you got a lot of negative people around you, bringing you down or classifying you as some certain type of person, whatever. Who cares? You don't need them anyways. Yep. And the reason is, is because you already got it all in you. You got this. Can you pull it out? I think you can. I think you can. All right. So let's find out what the final stone here is. <clears throat> no, let's find out what the energy of this whole entire reading is, okay? Hmm. We have the otter. Playfulness and efficiency. Right? Maybe, you know, we got someone here who's just too serious. Right? Maybe this is what you need to bring into the situation. Playfulness. You know, a little laughter and fun in your life. But don't forget to be efficient in all you do, right? Maybe you want to help others and you want to, you know, raise vibration and all that good stuff, like this person. But this person didn't just get there overnight. This took a lot for this person to get here. This person may have had to go through all kinds of life traumas and heal from that, be able to release and let go and, and you know, stuff like that. Because that's all it takes. It's hard to let go of stuff. But once you come into terms with whatever it is you're dealing with, you can get past that. Okay? But try to bring a little laughter and fun into your life, you know? And, and don't try to help others from what you heard from another person. Do your own research. Don't give advice to anybody that you wouldn't take yourself. Right? Lead by example. Right? Don't follow the herd. Because you got it in you to receive these gifts that this person has. You just got to pull it out of you. You can do it. I know you. If I, I did it, if I can do it, anyone can do it. You just have to have faith in yourself and spirit and know 
that you have nothing to worry about. Because if you know you're doing good, that good's going to come back to you. Playfulness and efficiency. Be efficient in your studies when you're trying to help others. Don't mislead others. Don't make anyone feel bad. You know, and you know, it's so hard to raise vibration on social media, especially when you got to type the stuff because they can't hear your emotions when you're typing words. So people might take things wrong. That's something difficult to deal with. But if people really know you, they know you mean well. And you don't have to worry about those people. What's that saying? <laughs> um... Those who matter don't mind, and those who mind don't matter. That's something that we read in the Dr. Seuss book as children. I think it's Dr. Seuss. I can't even remember. You know, but a lot of people know that quote. And that's a true quote. What's the new situation going to be like? All right. <clears throat> this is the new situation. Wholeness. Either way you turn it, just like the breakthrough stone, and also just like the defense stone, either way you turn it, you're still going to have that wholeness in your life. Right? So someone is, I think it's this person, is going to realize that they do have this kind of energy within them. They just have to do, change up a little stuff bit in their life change up a few things and if that means letting go of toxic people people who are not um, supportive of you and your journey and your healing and trying to better yourself and your life trying to you know become all you can be right go navy <laughs> you know i know that's a go army kind of quote but you know i was in the navy so i always you know, go Navy. Anyhow, you can be everything that you want to be or that you imagine. The thing is, is who's holding you back? Someone's holding this person back. They want to take this journey. They want to. But there's, you know... Something that's preventing them. Now, maybe this person just doesn't feel that they're ready. The breakthrough is going to come through and they're going to understand, you know what, I am ready. I am ready for this. And I'm going to defend my dreams at all costs. You go. I'm proud of you for that. I'm so freaking proud of you if you're realizing this. Okay? You may feel like you're not protected. You know, well, if you feel that way around all the people you're near, oh my goodness. Are you in the right spot? Are you in the right place? If you don't, if you don't feel protected where you are, ooh, you got to get away. Especially if you feel like you're in danger. Yeah. Don't risk yourself for anyone. You know? If you feel like you need to escape from something toxic, then you get away. Now, if you're in danger, call 911, right? If you feel like your life is in danger, 911. Okay? But if you can get away, you know, you can, you know, try to get away if you can. If you feel like you're in danger, you know? would hate to see or hear about anybody getting hurt because, you know, they didn't believe in themselves. I believe in you, whoever you are. You have it within you to be just like this. You are looking at this person because you're like, dang. I wish I could, you know, have that strength. You have it. You have it. You just got to believe in yourself. I feel like there's a lack of belief. And it could be maybe the people you're around, they don't, they don't bring up your vibration, right? 
Maybe they put you down. They make you feel less than. They make you feel like you're not worthy. But you know what? Those people are just reflecting how they feel about themselves on you. Mm -hmm. Don't let these people, places, or things control you because they can't heal themselves, because they can't see their own truth, because they don't have it with it, what's in... They don't have it... How can I say this? I can't get the words out. They don't have it within them to strive for this. I mean, they really do, deep down inside, but they're not trying to do the work for it. They want everything handed to them easily. You know? Unfortunately, those people will not, you know, move forward or succeed as long as they stay in that energy. And um, let's all, you know, send out a little prayer for those who are in that situation and maybe we can try to push them to realize that, you know, they are better than what everyone has made them feel they are. Right? You don't need anyone to tell you that you're good or that you um, are a success. You don't need that. No. You pull that out of yourself. You believe in yourself. You love yourself. Right? And if you love yourself enough to pull away from toxic energies, people, places, and things who make you feel defensive or like they don't have your back or you're not protected or whatever, you, you got to get away from them, you know? I mean, you don't got to do anything I say, but it's a suggestion there. You know? I believe in you. You can have this. Because it's showing me here that the new situation that you're possibly going to be going into will bring you wholeness. Not only that, I just saw 2211. That might resonate with someone. But not only that, this whole situation that's been plaguing you or making you feel not so much of yourself, you, you don't feel happy, you don't feel complete, you feel like something's missing, you will find this wholeness once you realize something, whatever that is, within yourself. And then you're going to have this kind of energy going on. Once you get to this wholeness, you're going to be like, damn, I love this. I love this life. I, I, why did I wait so long to find this ha happiness, right? To find this wholeness. You're going to know. You're going to realize it later. You might not realize it now, but it'll come. Maybe you fear leaving the past because it's all you know. Without change, there is no progress, though. We all know that. Change happens every day. Every minute change happens. We get older every minute. Don't waste these years you have left on toxicity. People who make you feel defensive. People who don't make you feel protected. People who, who you know, tell you, ah, you're not good enough. You'll never make that journey. You're never gonna, you know. <laughs> you know. All right. We're gonna pull some boggles now. All right, and these are cubes with letters on them. I found this game Boggle. You can find it anywhere at a toy store, whatever, you know. They're fun. They're inexpensive. Pick up a set. If you're a reader, they're fun. If you enjoy reading, it's a cool extra edition, I guess. I don't know. All right, I got two in my hand. Here's one. Here's two. So what do we got here? We got U, N, and S. Can you see that? And then we have N, L, and R. Where is it? Can you see that? Gosh. L? Do you see it? Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if I can pull out two more here. Oh, I got, I got two. Here's the next one. T, O, T. Tot. <laughs> Tater tots. No, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I thought of when I saw that. Here's the next one. All right. 
T H E. <laughs> the tot. Ha <laughs> yeah. So these could be, you know, first, middle, last initial of somebody. This could spell out something. I mean, already, you know, maybe I'm, I'm craving tater tots. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Let's see if I can see anything else real quick. None. N-U-N. I don't know. That's all, that's all I'm picking up right now, you know. Um, I think I'd do better if I could write them all down on a piece of paper, like, and then, you know, but, you know, you guys can do that. Maybe you're going to find something. Maybe there is a message here for you. Maybe, you know, use your intuition. Use what you got inside you to figure it out, right? Because <laughs> this person probably, you know, has already pulled out a lot so far. Anyhow, it's weird how you, I, you know, it's hard to see. I don't know how to make you guys see it any better. That's a little better, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> if this resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Also, keep it true love energy, you guys. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time.